Hello, it's Cameron here from Quickshot Films. Today I thought I might go through some of the places where I get my stock footage and how to, how I put it into my videos. So, uh, first of all, I'll show you this website. This website is a free stock footage website. Basically, you search in here for your stock footage, download it, and put it in your videos. So, these ones are completely free, I think. Um, and yeah, you just search down the that list like I said, or oh, it changes when you start searching. But uh, down here you got all your options. You've even got other, I haven't actually really looked at other I don't think. Oh yeah, I have looked at other. Um but yeah you just do that. Look through some of these effects and when you find one that you want you can just go like press click on it and download. And yeah you have a cool piece of stock footage. Uh, time for the next website. Okay, so this website is not so action effects thing. This one has like lens filters and uh, blood splatters and other stuff, but not so much of the like muzzle flashes and things. Has sound effects, which I have downloaded. <laughs> a sound effects pack. Um, and yeah, overall I find this website really easy to use. Uh, some of them are paid, some of their effects, but uh, a lot of them are free. And you will usually get a sample of each paid pack as well, which is quite cool. So yeah, that is my second website, now I'll show you my third website. Now, of course, my third website's YouTube, for some particular reason. Uh, basically, it's just a huge resource but is yeah some of the videos aren't very good and some of them are like on green screen backgrounds don't get like smoke effects and fire effects that are on green screen backgrounds because they never look good in your videos unless you've got a program like After Effects um, so but of course then you could just use particles to get your fire or smoke and stuff so you wouldn't use stock footage as much but uh, yeah, so YouTube is quite good as long as you find the right stuff in HD and stuff because sometimes it's really bad and then I just download it with free make video downloader and yeah, it's quite good. So just like search with what you want and then stock footage and all usually be alright with that. You have to be careful though because some of the stock footage on YouTube is just taken from a paid stock footage provider like uh like Action Essentials, their, a lot of their stock footage has just been copied onto YouTube for people to download. Uh, don't get that because, yeah, you don't really want to be pirating videos. Uh, yeah. But anyway, now I'll go into Surfery Plus and show you how I put in muzzle flashes, explosions, and smoke into my videos. So, yeah. Okay, so here I am in Surfery Plus. I'm just going to start by importing a couple pieces of uh, stock footage for us to work with. Okay, so I've got some stock footage imported in. I've also imported this background so you can see uh, the stock footage on the background. So, uh, yeah, I'll just minimize that track. You don't want to see that. So that's the background. I uh, just quickly rename that. Background. Okay. And this is going to be where we put our stock footage. Just drag the background out. Okay. So go to back into your media pane and insert the stock footage you wish to insert. Uh, this is some fire. Although you notice that it seems this is pre keyed. So it's just on how well they've wanted it done. But you can see it's got some weird edging around the edge of the flame. Uh, to help get rid of that, click on your overlay track and change the blend mode to screen. Oh, uh, wait, no. That doesn't actually look that good. Uh, you usually I just play around with that. But for some that reason, that effect doesn't like that. Usually it just brightens up the image and kind of also gets rid of that weird black background. But for some reason, that one didn't quite work properly. Anyway, I'll, I'll insert Daily Lens. This one work has worked well with screen. You can see if I turn screen off. It's just like that. It doesn't have pre-cade. And if I turn screen on, 
looks quite nice like that. If I transform it, uh, I'll crop, crop it. This crop button. This crop button. And I match button. See guys, it's full screen. So it, yeah, it's quite cool like that. What you do is, uh, if I just quickly, uh, burst. Oh, fire! It's a fire burst piece. This one here. Why do I have so many of it? I don't know. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Uh, this one. Okay. If I import this into another track. This is a piece of explosion. If I click on the track and make it screen, bring it up a bit, so then uh, make this go about there, bring this over top, so then drag this over top, cross, blur, cross fade in, cross fade out, and now apply it. Oh, not quite a bit too long. So this goes. Oh. Start. Boom. And if you make that a bit bigger, make it large. Make the screen a bit brighter when it happens as well. It makes cool. This is what I'm doing in my contest video. Makes a cool little effect like that. Um, and yeah, I just reckon that looks pretty cool. And uh, if I turn the brightness up, all the exposure as well. It just looks really, really nice. Boom! With the cool little dirty on the screen. Okay, delete those. And yeah, so that's basically how you import stuff. I was going to show you how to do this. I might as well quickly do that now. Uh, dust. It's basically done. You just need to pull it in, put that screen on, and uh, put the screen on that track. And boom. So, see you guys later. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, goodbye guys.